In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the fixed points of a function. Let's begin with a bit of theory, and this is important. To find the fixed points of a function means to find when its input values equal its output values. Since the equation y is equal to x is purely a one-to-one -one function, and the reason why it's one-to-one -one is because any value you put into x, you get the exact same output as in your y. To find any fixed point for any function, we set that function equal to x and solve. So I have three examples prepared for you. We'll start with the first one. Question number one, we have find the fixed points of f of x is equal to the cube root of x. So all we have to do is set f of x equal to x. We have the cube root of x is equal to x. Remember that the cube root of x is the same thing as x to the power of a third is equal to x. We cube both sides of the equation and when we do that, watch what happens. We get x is equal to x cubed. Bringing that over, we end up with 0 is equal to x cubed minus x. Factoring out an x, we end up with two factors, x and x cubed minus x. Each of these need to be set to 0. So our first fixed point is when x is equal to 0. And our second fixed point, if we solve this quickly, we get x is equal to plus minus 1. So there are three fixed points. There are three times when the input values, being x is equal to 0, positive and negative 1, will the outputs be the same. Let's move on to question number 2 now. This time we have h of x is equal to x squared minus 3x. We will set that function equal to x. x squared minus 3x is equal to x. I'll bring this over so I can collect like terms and simplify. So we have minus 4x is equal to 0. I'll factor out an x, just like I did in the previous question. And solving, we get x is equal to 0 and x is equal to positive 4. Here's a visual of what this looks like. Now, in question 3, we have find the points of the second iterate of the function g of x is equal to x squared minus 1. The second iterate is like saying g composed of g. This is a composite function, or g inserted into g. Let's go ahead and find that out. So I'll say that the second iterate of g, which I'll denote as this superscript 2 of x, is x squared minus 1 placed into there. So x squared minus 1 raised to the power of 2 minus 1. Let's simplify. We have x squared minus 1 twice, like this, expanding x to the power of 4 minus x squared minus x squared plus 1 minus 1. These two cancel, and these two combine to minus 2x squared we now have the function g composed of g. And we will now set this equal to x because they want the fixed points of the second iterate. All right, I'll bring that over. This gives 0 is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared minus x. Since this is a quartic, a fourth degree, it's going to be a little more complicated. Let's hope it isn't. If I factor out an x here, I get x cubed minus 2x minus 1. Notice that one of our fixed points, given that this x has been factored out, is x is equal to 0. And the other factor is a cubic. Rather than going through the process of solving the cubic by hand, I'll use my calculator to help me out. So there's a function on the calculator which enables us to solve cubics. And we will substitute the coefficient of x cubed, which is 1, 
There is no coefficient of the x squared term, so we'll leave that at 0. We have negative 2 and negative 1. We end up getting another fixed point at 1.618. Of course, we'll have to round. Another at negative 0 0.618, and a third one at negative 1. A visual of this is shown on your screen. And so there you have it. That is how to find the fixed points of a function. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or use our website at biology-forums.com. Thanks for watching.